guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be walking each other <laughs> through how to use the new meta business suite so i had a video the last time that talked about how i use um, creator studio to actually schedule my posts but i've been using meta business suite and let's not lie it's not that bad it can be a really bit tiny little bit confusing but it's not actually that bad so in this video i'm going to be walking you through how to schedule with it in like a few minutes and i'm just so excited so let's go right into it right now and this is what you see when you sign in you want to make sure that your instagram page is connected to your facebook page it actually helps to have that so yeah it's posts you can schedule directly for both pages and you save more time so now let me walk you through um so yeah you can have many pages you can see if you click on that drop down it shows you the different pages that you have but i'm only dealing with the social media ogre for today you have the notifications tab and one thing i love, love about this notifications tab is you can view your notifications from facebook and also from instagram you can see people that liked your post or people that commented on your post um the next one is the planner which is why we're here i'm going to show you i have a post scheduled for tomorrow already but i'm going to do an example and schedule for friday um then we also have the content tab we have the content tab where you'll be able to like view your content you also have to be connected to the internet that's why it's taking time to load my you have to be connected to the internet and they're saying um creator studio metrics are coming to business suites now creator studio was created for creators and creator profiles are different from business profiles so i think they're trying to create different metrics for us so that we have more in-depth metrics than the business profile so they said they're still coming so because they combined creator studio and meta business suite together now i'm going to walk you through this part then the insights inbox monetization ads and autos so let's start with planner you know notification tab is where you just how let's say it view your notifications so i'm going to come to schedule and all you have to do is you can either create an ad from here i'm not creating an ad or you can just click create so if you click on this drop down you can either create a post a story a reel bulk upload videos post videos across bridges or you can also even go live so we're well, just let's let's just create like a post so we're more about creating posts so i want you to create posts one thing i've discovered from meta business it is your reels don't actually go like you want them to like i've been having that issue for a few days I'm, i think i'm gonna have to turn my whatsapp off because it's making that noise so i'm going to like turn um quit whatsapp yeah so this is it um this is meta business suit this is how it looks like on everything so now um create posts you want to select both pages so i've selected both pages now for the media you can choose to add photo add a video or use templates i've never used template before but you can check it out if you want to so i'm going to click on add for add photo and upload from my desktop so i'm going to use the um posts that i have for like maybe february carousels no let me use yeah this is like a let me let me i want to look for the one that has like a bulky carousel i think i had one seven days ago Mm hmm yeah this is like a lot so one thing i would say is you can select as many as possible if you want to but then you will not start to have rearrange let me use the blue one then you not start to rearrange well let's select, let's select it so i'm going to select all those blue carousels and click on open it will bring in everything because it's 10 carousels for instagram like the slides to show if you don't know what the carousel is so you bring in everything and it might not bring it in accordingly like look at it this is number one this is number three the cover page is way down so you can just move it on this dot and just rearrange it so as you rearrange it now this is supposed to be the last page so i'm going to keep on moving it and adjusting it um where's the front page this is the front page this is one this is two three this is five this is four 
this is six seven okay this is arranged now now you can also click on this button that pen button and you can crop it so if you like maybe you want to crop it, you want to use square on instagram but i created my design and vertical size so i want to make sure that everything is cropped i don't want any complaints with instagram cutting anything off and all so i can do vertical design then i turned it crop apply to all and i clicked on apply so it's going to recrop everything again so that it fits into instagram whenever this can, the post goes out okay now it's going to take time to load depending on your internet speed depending on my, my internet speed is not that great right now so i'm not here using um was this spacex or starlink sorry i'm not using starlink but maybe when i get starlink my internet speed is going to be marvelous but yeah all right so that's done now i love the fact that you can customize your post that that means your captions for facebook and instagram now let me just write a caption um this this is a test caption for this tutorial video now you can customize for facebook and for instagram because you know instagram allows 30 hashtags but for facebook you don't want to use 30 hashtags because that's like very bulky so you want to make sure you customize if you're posting for facebook and for instagram you can also add locations for facebook you can add how you're feeling you can add activities you can add um different things depending on how you feel like yeah so i've done that and i'm going to wait for a preview so i want to see how it looks like on my facebook feed so this is how it will look like on my facebook feed and if i want to see how it looks like on my instagram feed i'll click on instagram pre feed preview and it's going to show me exactly how it's going to look like on instagram i can slide through and confirm that okay this is arranged it's not like seven is coming before three or three is coming before seven and everything so that's like pretty much arranged if you want to check on how it looks like on laptop it's up to you now when it comes to scheduling you can click on publish now if you want to like post directly from here you can come to schedule now let me tell you the part i love about business suits it has active time so it gives you the active times and you can see recommendations are based on when your followers were most active on instagram and facebook respectively in the last seven days so if you're someone that wants to know what are the best times to post you can actually go with some of this so 19 o'clock is like seven o'clock um yeah today tomorrow my most of my followers on facebook are active on by seven o'clock on instagram um three o'clock 20 o'clock 20 o'clock 20 o'clock is like eight o'clock so you can say okay i want to post you can follow the active times or you can just click on it and select your own time so i'm like going to be like okay um schedule post needs to be shared uh okay so i'm going to click on dates for dates let's do um friday let's do friday i'm just doing like a test post um 11 p.m let's do 11 p.m so you can save that and then you can schedule but i'm not scheduling so let's not before i forget that the post will go out now let's go to that's all about scheduling post now let's go to content now i really love this part because I feel like there is so much that business suite has to offer us that we've not really explored especially if you're a social media manager now you can actually is it business that i really wanted us to check no let's go to insights now i love the new feature of business suite because now you can download and it analyzes your insights your insights in a way that how would i say it yeah it, it just analyzes it now as you can see here it's telling me your last week in review so I published 30 pieces of content this past week, two Facebook posts, five Instagram posts, 23 Instagram stories. I did not run any ads. So I can set my business goals and track my, if I want to. Now my results on Facebook, my page reached 118 people and on Instagram, my reach was 42.2K. So if I want to view all insights, now this is where I love it. I've not set goals yet and everything. Now this is for, um, the page for um facebook page and everything this is like this is like an entire overview paid reach facebook reach and instagram reach you can now see the results reports 
and you can see the reach here and the instagram reach here now as a social media manager what do you do it's always very good just export the data you can export as a png csv or pdf because you want to put it like in your how will i say it in your um maybe in your reports in canva you can just export as png so you just export as png and then you add to your design it's really really amazing and i don't have any ads impression so if you run ads for your client you can also do that also for the audience i love the way it's very detailed as opposed to our normal insights like it breaks it down to the top towns and cities and um, top countries like more than the one that instagram shows you um facebook is more detailed than that then instagram shows you the top um and you can also export this it now shows you the potential audience that you can read because they want us to create an ad definitely so i want to do that then you can also give feedback benchmarking now you can you can see suggested facebook businesses to add if you want to businesses like yours you can check them out but currently i don't have i don't know why and my instagram followers is showing me that my instagram followers grew by three thousand three point four k now i really i really just i really just love this now let me tell you the best part about the content overview is you can analyze what you did in the past week now for Facebook posts, you can see that, okay, this is the last 90 days. This is, I'm, I don't really post on Facebook. But you can see that videos did more than images. And my reels did more than how one posts for Facebook. Now, Facebook stories, I did not do any. Now, let's go to Instagram. You can see my reach. Like, you can see the difference. I posted more. Um, my reach was more reels. My reels did more than other posts uh, or my carousel posts so carousel posts are the sliding ones then other posts are like the single feed posts and everything but reels still did more this this is to tell me that i should do more reels checking my engagement right my reels did more than my other posts and my car my other posts and carousels are kind of like together videos images and all then you can also see your top four performing organic posts you can see the ones that had more reach this one Oh my god this post had 7606 likes i had no idea like i had no idea now this is one is like it's the same post really is reach on post then this one from my birthday was the is post is comments on the post obviously it was my birthday <laughs> so you can also like check the data you can check the number of days if you want to i have another account really then you can also check your stories like I just reach on stories, sticker tabs. I've not been using stickers lately. I've not been using stickers lately, so maybe that's why I'm like. So you can see which ones that had more replies, so that you know to create more posts like that, and which one had like the highest reach on stories. Now it's just it's just really amazing. You can click on content, and then you can check everything in detail, and you can also export the data. I'm going to show you. You can export the data and then, yeah, this is the part where you can choose the date range. So you want to see for the last 28 days, you want to see lifetime or data during the selected days, metrics published. So you can choose everything and let me just see, generate. And it's going to generate it for me. And my export is, is being processed and it will send it to me from 11th of January to today next one is the video performance why did it go blank okay i was scared video performance so you can see meta business suite is amazing you can check your okay my data has been exported all right let me download it let me open let me show you guys how it looks like let me open it for you guys hmm. can you see like this is how it looks like guys it shows you the description, the post, the page name, the caption, even the link. Like if your client says, I want this one and everything, it shows you every single detail from that day to, <laughs> my God, this is, this is amazing. Let me show you the new likes. This is all these ones that you can impute into your, um, can you see into your, um analytics reports like I'm, I'm still shocked like they keep shocking me every single day 
<laughs> like you can check your loyalty you can check your client retention there's so much you can do with business suits you can check you see follower activity people who unfollowed you number of people that unfollowed you um you can export this data also returning viewers i've not been doing lives so and top videos by returning viewers last time i did a live <laughs> was 26th of january not 26th of january but it's not it's not my thing and everything then any currently i'm not doing um they have um in stream ads for facebook but currently not doing so much i'm, I'm not here declared so yeah i don't have that you can also check your inboxes like for instance, instagram comments facebook comments messenger messenger okay and you can label them if you want to and choose when you're available if when you're not available monetization i'm not yet available eligible for monetization yet and that's fine and ads if you're someone that likes running ads you'll be able to track it from here you can also create an ad and everything um now let's check all tools now there are so many tools that you can actually study and learn one thing i like about all those apps or all the social media platforms is if they they teach you how to use all these tools and they explain so they have the ads manager they have apps they have audiences events manager ads reporting you so once you click on this it takes you to another page that actually explains it you can also you can go live like there's like a live producer you can go live from your laptop like create a live you can let's create a test broadcast right now let's create a test broadcast right now i'm about to go live guys <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> yeah, so you can let me allow. I don't. Um, you can set up a chat box. Ooh, a chat box. Oh my god. Ooh. Welcome back, Balaji. No, I want to go live on Instagram, not on Facebook. I want to go live on Instagram. I want to go live on Instagram. Okay select i've never actually tried it before so this is like the first time i'm actually trying with you guys so it's waiting for the camera and oh 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 so you can actually go live from here you can expand the video that's the video okay it's up expand the video hi guys <laughs> yeah so you can go live if you want to but yeah this is amazing this is amazing when i'm going live i'll go live later and you can set your life you can actually go live now and set it so that it will go live later even when you're not there Whew. meta business it is so amazing let's not even lie like facebook meta has outdone itself with meta businesses we're still figuring it out we're still trying to understand what it is and i feel like the more you try things the more you will get to like know that okay i can use this one or i can do that one and everything and with that we've come to the end of today's video <laughs> yeah um it's pretty easy and that's what i've been doing to schedule most of my carousels for reals it's still not working like i wanted to but i feel like they'll get there they'll get there it's not as confusing as people think it is and it is free so you get to save money as a social media manager i hope you found this video helpful if you did please leave me a comment i love to hear from you which feature would you do you love most about metal business use and would you be trying this like would you be trying this let me know in the comment section please subscribe please subscribe i've seen that a lot of people that watch my videos don't subscribe please subscribe it's very important that you do it helps me encourages me as a creative or a creator and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.